It is impressive. I haven't noticed any around the city and, well, I think one of them got into Desi's stash. Oh, that's this uh, old man I used to live with. That sounds really gross. But I don't know how else to put it. I don't judge. He just kind of like starts walking into the main entrance of the ranch uh, after passing a security scan that kind of like goes over his face. He gives a wave to the little retina on the wall and the gates slide open. All right, well, let's have a night, an in innocent night with our clothes on. Yeah. Hey, what time is it? Looks down at his watch. Hey, what time is it? It is midnight. She suddenly runs up to him and gives him a mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact kiss. The watch, when that happens, says, whoa, 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 humming up, humming up. He slaps a hand over it. Uh -huh. He actually uh, blushes. Uh, all right, that's <clears throat> okay. She pulls her uh, shroud up. Yeah, sorry, I... isn't that the moon thing to do at 12? No. What? No, No, it's not. Oh my god, I just assaulted you. The face is red. It's only assault if, like, I didn't want it to happen, right? Wait. Oh my god, I'm so confused now. First of all, I have to clarify, so that's not what's supposed to happen at 12 on Valentine's Day. Evening. Whatever. I don't know. Hmm. No. Where did I hear that from? Where did I hear that from? Probably, like, your heart. Because you wanted to kiss me so bad. Because I'm super cool. Hmm. That does remind me of a proverb my people have. Okay. Well, what is it? Oh, it's... It should be universal. But, uh, this is embarrassing. Katli kitlape tenia yolot atlo amo kema moku loa. It means those who follow their heart are never wrong. That's mm. all. That was a lot of syllables. Wow. <laughs> I know three languages. Really? Yeah, why not? It's Had impressive. To learn. Oh, thanks, Lewis. I only know pretty much English and um, Esperanto. Esperanto? Yeah. Why? I was bored. Oh, Lewis. All right, show me this race car, Dad. Yeah. Just, um, he walked you in, and as he's looking around, a car does peel off like very quickly uh once it sees him and just kind of zooms away down a hallway spraying pillows and covers everywhere as it goes uh, that's a lot cooler than you described it mm, hold on he waits and then kind of like turns his head turns his ear towards the hall and then he hears tire squeal and a crash sound there we go what all right well it's not very good at cornering <laughs> Okay, um, do you think that we could take it to the, well, the last stash point I remember the little thief bots having? Yeah, I mean, probably. Now that Lewis is back, you will notice, like, in that kind of entrance area, it's slowly small robots are starting to encroach, like, from the periphery, like, they've been woken up, stirred from their slumber, like he's just drawn aggro from robots both tiny and large and some of them are pushing each other out of the way or climbing over one another one in particular is wearing kind of like a now very dirty version of the clothes that he wears it's that familiar roundhead one it just says i am lewis clark oh hey lewis <laughs> i am lewis i am lewis clark yes you are and uh i guess that's how the scene can end uh with the robot slowly encroaching in Almost like a zombie movie <laughs> with their weird bobble heads and their little light up light up eyes and uh, whirly arms like yeah. you're under assault by a toy chest to be continued.